struggling to get leads, sales, or signups online, uh, stick with me for a few seconds and I'm going to show you how you can put your ad in front of thousands of targeted people daily for as little as $5. Now, who am I? My name is Kevin. I've been a professional digital marketer for the better part of the last decade. I've helped my clients generate tens of millions of dollars in revenue. Uh, and I also work with Billie Jean is marketing, it's doing uh, weekly setup sessions, helping other professional digital marketers. Now, what I want to show you today is a really, really interesting type of ad that I've uh, really had a lot of success with lately. Uh, and I'm super pumped about this ad for two main reasons. Now, number one, YouTube only charges people for views when somebody watches more than 30 seconds of your ad. So we're going to set up this ad to get multiple, you know, up to 20 or 30 impressions per week. If the people don't actually watch through, it doesn't count as a view. If they skip at the 25 second, that's an impression, not a view, meaning you are not charged for it, but they still consume 25 seconds of content. That's a good branding play, especially if you're a local business. Uh, secondly, this type of ad takes advantage of affinity audiences. Now, affinity audiences are people who like similar things, people who have an affinity towards a certain topic. So if you're a local real estate agent and you want to find people who are in the market for houses, you can use Zillow.com or Realtor.ca, those type of websites, and target the type of people that look for those type of, uh, look at those type of sites. If you're a digital marketer, you know, we would do the same thing with NeilPatel.com or Billie Jean is Marketing. If you sell awesome Star Wars products, uh, you, we would use Wikipedia. You know, the, the opportunities here are really endless. This type of ad is super powerful. So if you have, um, if it sounds like something that could be useful, stick with me and let's just get into it. Okay, so once you are in your account, uh, well, to get into your account, first go to Google or go to ads.google.com. Uh, log into AdWords and sign into the correct account. Once we're there, you should land in the overview section where you can create a new campaign. This question here is going to ask you what you want to optimize for because, uh, as I mentioned, this is a branding play. We're going to do product, brand, and consideration. It's optimized for video because this is on YouTube, and we're going to do the influence consideration. Uh, then we're going to go to continue. Uh, now that we're here, what we want to do is name this by our uh, bidding and our targeting. And basically, I'm going to call, I'm going to target digital marketers in Canada because they're who would benefit from this tutorial the most. With our bid strategy, you'll see here we are maximum cost per view. Um, and now we get to our bidding. We, you could either do a campaign total. Um, I like to run daily uh, totals. Uh, and like I said, for this campaign, really what we're looking for is a lot of impressions without paying a ton of money. So we're going to set it up for $5 a day. Um, locations, I'm default Canada, wherever you are, set it up for whatever you want. Um, English, uh, I figure French people won't get as much out of this, although most of them are bilingual, let's be honest here. Uh, now inventory type, we're sticking with standard. Uh, now we get to exclude types and labels. When you get into this, this is just who do you not want to see this. History has kind of proven that if, uh, you know, we don't want to run our ads on, you know, videos for mature audiences. Also live streaming, uh, it never really does too well because people are interested in that live event. I'm going to click our additional settings here. Uh, conversions, they'll just steal them from the account level. For this account, uh, it's set up as people who make it to the uh, thank you page after a purchase. Uh, if you're doing something differently, feel free to go ahead. In terms of devices, uh, I leave them on basically any device because, you know, I am in my own <laughs> target demographic. I definitely watch tutorials on, you know, my TV 
you know, I watch a lot of YouTube on TV. I watch tutorials at my desk all day, and I've been known to watch a lot of YouTube on my phone. Really, this is a branding play. We want to be everywhere. Now, this is what I was talking about, frequency capping. This is awesome. So here, what we're going to do is cap impressions and frequencies. What I'm going to do is try to cap this at 20 impressions per week. Oh, sorry. Let's do per month. Um, to me, you know, you could go upwards of 30. Depend Depends on what you want to do with this. Impressions, remember, is somebody who skips it uh, before the first 30 seconds, right? So, you know, digital marketers are going to be getting this. They'll constantly flip past it, but that doesn't mean that it's not, you know, that you're not building something as, as a branding play. Now, this would be great to do for real estate agents as well. And now, cap, view, and frequency. Uh, for this, what I like to do is set it up at 3 and we're gonna say per week. This just means if somebody watches this full tutorial and doesn't take action on it three times in a week, at that point, I'm pretty confident that, you know, they probably don't want to visit a website or take any action. So, you know, let's stop wasting money. Ad schedule, uh, I leave this to all day. If you have something time specific, obviously you can change it. In our ad group name, uh, remember, say Canada uh, and I'm gonna say uh, affinity audience GIM tell so what we're gonna use is an affinity audience I'll explain that as we get to it uh, and then we're gonna say tutorial video you know when when you're naming your ad groups it doesn't really matter what you name them I name them this way so that if I want to find anything, it's really easy just by looking at the name. Uh, demographics for here, I'm basically going to do everything except for 65 plus. Generally, I just feel like they're not in the uh, they're not in the digital marketing audience. As far as household income, if there are people making a ton of cash or very little and trying to make make their way in the industry either way it's good uh, we have stuff that's really affordable for everybody now when you get to audiences this is where uh, this gets really powerful for us what I want you to do here is we're gonna click browse uh, and then custom audiences and then we're gonna create a new one and here I going to call this uh, Billy Jean is marketing slash uh, Neil Patel P, I think that's P-A-T-E-L uh, and here we're gonna say people who browse types of websites so for this for these websites we're gonna do uh, Neil Patel.com great place if you are looking for marketing tips and tactics the second one here is um, sorry here we go uh, Eugene is marketing.com generally we're just we're gonna try to show this ad to people that browse these type of websites because these are the type of people that would find this more useful again if you are a real estate agent and you're trying to send it to those people you can use uh, zillow.com realtor.ca realtor.com all of those types of uh, websites that's people that are actively searching for stuff um, basically all you have to do here is you put your competitors website into this and you know, that's how to get these ads in front of the right people now it's gonna make my audience for me you see we have a total of 99 million impressions that are possible uh, we're definitely not gonna get 99 million impressions per week by spending five dollars a day but like that's the potential size of the audience Going through, we are not going to use any keywords. We are not going to use any topics and placements. 
because we've already defined people uh, by saying they visit a certain type of website, we don't really care which video they see it in front of. Uh, I'll do a different video for putting it on, say, like your competitors' actual videos. That that's a pretty powerful tool as well. Uh, now, bidding here. Uh, we're going to set this up as uh, maximum cost per view of sixteen cents per view. To me, you know, in my experience, tutorial videos, you're probably going to get a cost per view of around four or five, four or five cents. Uh, and then you'll get, you know, an average impression value of like one cent or less. Uh, I'm not going to do a top content bid adjustment. Uh, and then here, where we enter in uh, the video that we want to upload. I'm still making this video, so I'm just going to throw in, you know, a random one. We're just going to upload our video there. We're going to choose our skippable in-stream ad. Uh, now, for your final URL, make sure you get the uh, HTTPS correct. Uh, we are doing adronin.com. And display URL is going to take that straight from here. And then we're going to... Okay, so here we are just going to type in learn more and our headline we only have 15 characters so hopefully this works more tutorial, more tutorials and then here if we want to give this add a name I'm going to call this affinity audience tutorial this way I just know what it is uh, so basically here for five dollars a day we're gonna do anywhere from 650 to 1.3 thousand views we'll get this ad in front of you know potentially three and a half thousand digital marketers every single day um, our average cost per view should be somewhere in there and they should spend everything now we're on our confirmation page we just make sure everything is okay continue to our campaign not always but in this scenario I have to upload a different video so I'm going to pause this and that right there is basically how to set everything up uh, now, like I said, this type of ad will get you in front of, uh, you know, will get you 650 views, it was saying, up to 650 views per day for $5. That is absolutely fantastic. You could get as many as 3,500 impressions per day, 3,400 impressions per day for $5. Like, that, that's absolutely unheard of. This is a super powerful ad if you want to make a branding play. Like if you want to be able to tell people how effective your product is, this is, is the go-to ad there. So uh, I invite you to take it up on it. If you're in digital marketing, you are looking for more tutorials just like this that will help your clients, please visit adronin.com uh, backslash blog. And if you'd like to white label some of your ads and get us to make them for you, we do them at an extremely affordable price. They start less than $50. We do custom videos uh, for $89. You know, basically outsource the, you know, you can outsource your videos to a professional agency. You can still have all the credit, make all of the money. Um, we just want to make some ads for you. Anyways, I hope that helped. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment below. Subscribe, like, and all of the other YouTube stuff that I'm supposed to say right here.